dear students welcome to this lecture on nano package the ever increasing demand of food that can potentially remain safe for consumption for a longer period of time has led the interest of scientists all over the world to develop various packaging techniques and materials to match consumers demands the use of packaging material is to protect product that can be food solids liquids etc the food industries though are still following the trend of using non degradable plastics or polymers for food packaging nano packaging is the emerging way of packaging and it has tremendous advantages in various food products the definition of nano technology is usually taken to be where the size of the functional element falls below 100 nanometer or 0.1 micrometer objective of this lecture is that to understand the definition of nano packaging and nano composites and it its applications to identify types of nano packaging and non migratory bioactive packaging and related applications let us first look at what is nano packaging nano packaging finds its roots in food technology when combined with nano technology the packaging developed using non migratory nano composites generally clay nano composites is considered as safe packaging for food so that it can be transported for long distances thereby enhancing the durability of the food product and we should know why nano packaging the primary aim of packaged food remains the consumption at a later desired time and thus protecting the food from certain atmospheric conditions that is dirt oxygen light carbon dioxide pathogenic microorganisms etc that may tend to harm the material in one way or the other secondly the packaging material must allow the migration of moisture oxygen or any other entity depending upon the food under consideration the reliability of nano packaging materials can be optimized through the materials processes limitations apprehensions knowledge about the material as well as its significance in concern through various processing modeling tools for food packaging materials application of nano technology in food packaging include firstly contamination sensors tracking and tracing this resulting in the development of improved food storage techniques secondly it provides with several packaging options like antimicrobial packaging green packaging etc thus increasing the shelf life of the product we will discuss about types of nano packaging now nano materials bring a certain range of advanced functional properties to the food 
packaging materials and so their use in the food packaging industry has been a remarkable increase in the recent past nano technology enabled food packaging materials can generally be classified into three broad categories the packaging materials have been categorized according to the nano techniques and nano materials used to prepare them the types of nano packaging are first one is intelligent or smart packaging second one is improved packaging third one is active packaging these types of packaging materials are having specific roles in various food technological applications nowadays the usage of nano packaging is increased and it is having the important role in marketing the food products worldwide let us discuss few points about different types of nano packaging one by one first type of nano packaging is intelligent or smart packaging the packaging that can sense any kind of biochemical or microbial changes in the food has been named as smart packaging for example detection of pathogens developing in the food or specific gases released whenever there is food spoilage in concern with food safety and consumer expectations and some more specific smart packaging may be used as a tracking device considering the liability of consumers health involving immobilized bioactive compounds are recently being researched upon to develop a range of different indicators like time temperature integrators food spoilage indicators which indicates that the food has spoiled by changing the color and chemical indicators for indicating the presence of other contaminants some evidently effective antimicrobial activators and nano sensors are being added to the food packaging materials for the detection of food spoilage right on time and to release nano antimicrobes for extending the shelf life of food so that the food can be kept in the supermarkets for even greater periods of time before they go stale enzyme catalyzed reactions based time temperature integrators are commercially available food tracking devices such as the nano sensors which is invisible to human eye can act as electronic barcodes when embedded as tiny chips into the food products which emit a signal that allows food to be tracked either fresh or resting in the shelves of the market for producing superior grade market available products as well to reduce the product recall warning packs are the one of the type of smart packaging in warning packs messages are being incorporated into the packaging to monitor how fresh the food is or warn whenever it exceeds the refrigeration guidelines that is storage temperature they allow the consumer 
to easily spot invisible but harmful substances or pathogens such as salmonella or escherichia coli in foods or indicate when the food has gone off ripeness sensors are also coming under smart packaging in this packaging sensors probably ins in packaging help show when food particularly ripe or over ripe by sensing the gases they give off that is monitoring the evaluation of ethylene and changing color the next type of nano packaging is improved packaging the gas barrier properties temperature and humidity resistance of the packaging can be improved by mixing the nano materials into a polymer matrix such packaging is called improved packaging the last type of nano packaging is active packaging the direct interaction of nano materials with the food or the environment to tends to protect the food in a better way than the traditional packaging for example in many studies on silver nano particles and silver coatings when used with other materials such as aggregation or uv scavengers it is shown that they provide anti microbial properties in food any such packaging made from the nano materials which plays a role in protecting the food is called active packaging let us know the role of aggregation scavengers in active packaging the plastic materials can be incorporated with aggregation absorbing materials by using an absorber which is co extruded in various packaging structures uv light has the ability to activate this aggregation absorber so that the scavenging capacity is not degraded before the end of the shelf life of the packaged product next is about flavor absorbers some packaging materials can be produced with a special ability to absorb unwanted flavors or odors from foods such as food juices sauces spreads ketchups dairy products etc and such process is called scalping the substances or components that absorb such flavors are incorporated into packaging material so that they can act as flavor absorbers once used as food packet antimicrobial systems also getting important in active packaging nowadays and it is having many functional benefits in the case of nano packaging active antimicrobial components are being incorporated in packaging materials which prevent bacterial growth and spoilage of food thereby extending the shelf life of the product in some systems the release of an antimicrobial is triggered when any bacterial growth is favored due to the change in the packaging environment such as ph temperature moisture or humidity imbalance in gaseous composition etc the important criterion in the selection of packaging material is its degradability to maintain healthy environment we need to go for the degradable packaging materials this will protect our environment now 
we will look about degradability of nano packaging material one of the most desirable trait of a packaging material in food industry is that it should carry out the function of protecting the food against the environment and then degrade eventually with bio promoter mineralization the degradation process of the material used for packaging can take place by means of biotic or abiotic events however most often a combination of both is at work the definition of degradation as given by the american society for testing and materials and the international organization for standardization is an irreversible process leading to a significant change of the structure of a material typically characterized characterized by a loss of properties that is integrity molecular weight structure or mechanical strength and or fragmentation degradation is affected by environmental conditions and proceeds over a period of time comprising one or more steps let us discuss about waste management through biodegradable packaging material food packaging is the most obvious source of litter generated by the public when discarded and more specifically when dumped without any knowledge of proper discarding places and methods this has caused increasing environmental concerns therefore a need of developing biodegradable packaging has arisen in the recent times the objective for such development are twofold the first one is to utilize potentially more sustainable and renewable sources of raw materials for example crops instead of crude oil second one is to facilitate integrated waste management techniques so as to reduce landfill in the regard of food safety we should check the migration of nano composites into packaged products the potential migration of packaging constituents into food is an important parameter to be evaluated in the context of food safety it is equally of concern to assess the related potential hazard to ensure the safety of consumers and liability of the food however very few studies have witnessed the potential effects of nano materials on consumption as a result of interaction between nano material based food contact materials more commonly known as fcms and food components regarding upon ingestion non migratory bio packaging material is a novel form of active packaging and it is having very important role in food packaging let us discuss few points about that the mass transfer of bio active components from food packaging material into the surroundings or the packaged product is called migration this particular problem associated with nano packaging with continuous research going on for possible developments in nano packaging migration of components in the food processes a major threat to such packaging to be accepted and used in the industry 
to overcome the issue the development of non migratory polymers has taken a toll as the bioactive component does not migrate from the polymer to the surrounding of the food the entrapment of active component within the polymer matrix results in the covalent attachment of the active component to the polymer backbone thus overcoming the problem of migration can active packaging developed in such a manner that none of the nano constituents or active components migrate into the food and at the same time triggers as a desirable biological response from food systems is known as non migratory active package a study done in the same aspect to check the antibacterial activity against escherichia coli has shown that the bioactive peptides covalently linked to the free terminus of the polyethylene glycol chains which are attached using carbodamide coupling by 1 n2 surface oxidized polyethylene films yield positive results non migratory antimicrobial packaging and in package enzymatic processes are considered as types of non migratory active packaging there are three types of non migratory bioactive polymers are there we will discuss about this these three types first one is inherently bioactive synthetic polymers if the bio polymer used to develop the packaging material is itself bioactive then such type of polymers are referred to as inherently bioactive synthetic polymers sources of such kind of packaging materials can either be naturally occurring bio polymers for example cytosol or synthetic polymers for example uv irradiated nylon next type is polymers with covalently immobilized bioactive compounds when an active agent is covalently attached to an inactive polymer backbone such type of polymers constitute this category the active agent may be a peptide protein coenzyme which can either be synthesized on the surface or extracted separately and then attached covalently to the polymer covalent attachment of graft chains avoids their delimination and ensures long term chemical stability in contrast to physically coated or absorbed systems the last one is polymers containing entrapped bioactive compounds in some cases large compounds can be immobilized by entrapment in the polymer matrix such that they do not migrate out of the polymer under conditions of use this requires an active agent larger than the channels present in the molecular structure of the polymer and minimal polymer chain mobility this strategy is difficult to control and more likely to result in migration of the active compound than covalent immobilization or inherently bioactive polymers elevated polymer processing temperatures may also result in significant migration and loss of active agent at this point we must aware of the applications of 
non-migratory bioactive polymers with immobilized bioactive agents. The first application is in package processing. The immobilization of enzyme on the surface of the packaging material as a bioactive agent is called in packaging processing. For example, immobilized lactase that is beta galactosidase packaging to produce lactose reduced milk products at a reduced cost compared to current methods. And non-migratory bioactive polymer can be also applicable in antimicrobial packaging and shelf life extension. This packaging applicable for the highly perishable and highly prone to microbial contamination. The path of antimicrobial packaging in the reduction of foodborne illnesses includes two major aspects. Firstly, the sanitation of the packaging materials and secondly, the reduction of pathogen growth in packaged foods. Reduction of foodborne diseases and shelf life extension are the two main goals of the antimicrobial packaging. They have led to the investigation of both the synthetic and the natural compounds for attachment to polymers in order to create non-migratory antimicrobial packaging. One of the wide known natural antimicrobial systems, the lactoperoxidase system of milk can be used for antimicrobial packaging. In the other related research, the immobilization of enzymes such as glucose oxidase and lactose on the nylon pellets has been tested for the production of hydrogen peroxide in system which is present in milk naturally so that it can be used in a bioreactor and not in packaging. But the principle is equally applicable to packaging as well. Many countries have certain milk regulations that restrict adding preservatives to milk. This method has an advantage that it can result in the activation of this natural antimicrobial system already present in milk without conflicting with the regulations. The coupling of glutaraldehyde with the polyethylene amine spacer was used to immobilize glucose oxidase and lactose onto the nylon pellets. Milk samples were exposed to these enzymes for 3 minutes only. Then the milk samples were stored at 8 degrees Celsius. Finally, the microbial counts were taken after 24 hours from the exposure. This caused the reaction of 0.5 to 2 log cycles in natural microflora of the raw milk. E14LKK which is the smallest antimicrobial synthetic peptide has also been researched for non-migratory antimicrobial packaging applications. In this research, high activity was detected for this immobilized peptide. It showed a remarkable antimicrobial activity against a very broad scope of the microorganisms, gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria, moles and yields. Along with the indirect antimicrobial effect, extending the shelf life of packaged food is also their effect. Many enzymes that can change the gaseous atmosphere of packed goods can also increase their shelf life by restricting the non-microbial degradative processes. Its main application is the reduction of oxygen in packaging that hinders the oxidation of food components, thus inhibiting the negative nutritional and sensory effects. Catechin has been immobilized on acrylic polymer beads as an antioxidant system recently. Let us summarize the 
points so far discussed in the given lecture. The applications of nanotechnology has shown considerable and remarkable advantages for the improvement of the properties of packaging materials. But research in this area is still in the early stages and a better understanding of the advantages and disadvantages of the use of nanotechnology in packaging material is much preferred. Nanotechnology offers tremendous opportunities for innovative developments in food packaging that can be benefit for both consumers and industry. Because of the potential nanomaterials to migrate from food coating materials into foodstuffs as shown in various studies in order to ensure production of safe packaging materials through nanotechnology in the food industry. There remains a need for further studies related to nanocomposite migration along with the rate of migration. Improvements in nano packaging are smart and active packaging constituting embedded nano sensors such as silver nano composites. Non migratory bioactive packaging has evolved in order to counter the limitation of migration of packaging constituents in the food. Nano packaging acts as a food savior by protecting it from getting spoiled or being attacked by pathogens thereby increasing the shelf life manifold. Example is antimicrobial properties as in lactoperoxidase system in milk. Biodegradable non-migratory polymers broaden the range of waste management treatment option over traditional plastic.